Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are doing great. Um, today, guys, I'm taking a different approach. I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to actually install the mod first before I show you guys some gameplay. I feel like uh, a lot of you guys actually look at my videos just for the mod, you know, and I, wanna really, I don't really want to keep you guys waiting, you know. I'm not really sure what you guys like. I'm kind of just testing the waters right now. Um, but if you guys prefer to see the actual tutorial before I show any gameplay, just let me know. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, whatever you guys would like, I'll do. And I'm more than happy to do it for you guys. I'm just testing right now. Obviously, I'm still new to YouTube and stuff. And I just do it for fun, really. You know, I like modding. I like showing you guys how to mod. You know, I like having that, that little uh, being part of a community kind of. Um, so this is what I'm doing today, guys. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually install the next-gen shader mod. Um, this mod, uh, I noticed, feel, adds a lot of color to the game. Um, looks cool, you know. It kind of looks... I want to say cartoony, but it doesn't look cartoony. Um, so here are a couple images, guys, of um, what you should expect to see. Something I noticed right away is the cars, man. The cars look gorgeous and with this mod. Definitely like deep, bright colors, super deep reds. It's awesome. So um, let's get to it, guys. So this one's actually a pretty easy mod. It is an OIV file, which is awesome. I, but I will tell you guys right off the bat, um, you might have trouble uninstalling it. So if you're not into uninstalling it, um, I would not install this mod. Um, if you guys just want to see how it looks, feel free to skip ahead to the video. But just let you guys right know, uh, right, know right away that you know it might not be the easiest mod to uninstall. So I might not have the answer to you um, unless you comment. Maybe I'll have it by then, but I'd say it's a bigger chance that I probably won't know. So you know, and then some people do um, some OIV files do come with the uninstall file, which is nice, but not all of them. Like, I don't think this one does. So, um, so I downloaded the mod guys. Once you click, click download, once you actually have it uh, and you make, make sure you do extract it because if you don't extract it, it will not work. Um, so this is the download that we are left with, right? So we extracted it. So we're left with, so next gen shader 2.5 OIV. Go ahead and click inside of it. Um, we have a couple of options. Um, so here, Right, so this is the main OIV. So this is what we're really gonna mess with. And if you click on here, um, you have a couple options. Like if you wanna disable DOF or the motion blur, you can go ahead and do that. You will just install those packages separately once you install the mod. Um, but we're not gonna mess with that, guys. I think it's just better to leave it how it is. Um, so first thing is first, go ahead and open up OpenIV. All right, um, and you're gonna wanna go to, go to Tools. So once you have OpenIV, right, I'm just, I just loaded up my GT5 through OpenIV. Um, go to Tools. Go to package installer, and then once you are here, guys, um, here you want to put the path of where the mod is located. So go back to the mod. Uh, once you are here, um, go ahead and just file path. Just click on it. It should highlight the whole thing. Go ahead and right click, copy, and then once you copy, go back to this little folder, right? So we just went to tools, uh, package installer, and then once you are here, uh, mine is already. Um, auto assign it's already there because I just did it earlier to test out the mod how it looks and make sure that it actually worked um, But you would just copy and paste it in there see once you hit open um, It'll bring you to the mod and you'll see this OIV file you, This is what you want to click on don't click on this folder, but click on this OIV file It'll be just a white page at least it should be at least that sort of just on mine Go ahead and click open and then you'll get this little window or right? an action shader give you some information um, of everything that's included at this mod, all right? New vehicle reflections, new crawl lights for vehicles, blah, blah, blah. Um, You know, a lot of great stuff. So if, you know, if you wanna take your time to read that, you go ahead. Um, it's just, I think it's better just to actually see it in person or actually the actual game it looks awesome. But uh, once you're here, click install. Um, you wanna click it on, you wanna make sure it goes to your mods folder in case you don't like it, you can just delete the mods folder and, um, and it'll delete the mod. So that's one way, right? Just delete the mods folder. It'll delete the thing, it'll delete the mod, but the thing is it might delete uh, all your mods that are in that mods folder so so once you have that guys um when i just installed it right click click on open up gt5 it'll automatically run it for me and then yeah i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay see what it actually looks like and then i'll be right with you guys right hey guys welcome back so as you can see guys i'm inside the game already driving my dodge demon i think it's my favorite car right now in the game <laughs> um but as you can see i think the first thing i noticed right away is definitely the car um, look how sh just how shiny it is and look how red it is how red it looks it looks crazy the candy i don't know i just i don't know man i don't know it, it just looks really good <laughs> um the color of the trees the grass um that's kind of what i meant by it kind of looks a little cartoony um I, 
it's not really cartoony you know but just like you know how cartoons are super rich in color it's kind of how this looks uh, i mean and it, it doesn't look bad it, it doesn't look bad at all in my opinion i actually really really like it i'm definitely a switch to the game which is i'm all about um but that reflection just looks beautiful so and it, i think i don't think it's just me but another thing i noticed too is just every time i like look around it's just different it's like i don't know it looks cool i i don't even know how to explain it uh, i think you just have to actually install the mod to find out see what i'm talking about it just looks i don't know um so yeah it's pretty much the biggest things i noticed i know i had some sun modifications i know i had some like solar rings and it's just it's just kind of a whole package it just changes the whole game completely so no i'm just jesus oh my gosh all right so i'm in a plane now and as you can see i think even the purple from the the jet engine it looks crazy oh i forgot i had that mod on <laughs> if you guys want to check out that uh uh sound barrier bringing the sound barrier mod just, uh, it's on my channel feel free to take a look at it um but yeah this is how it looks on the top guys a lot richer in colors like definitely changing contrast so let me get closer to the actual ground. Give you guys a look. See how. Oh my gosh! It just scared me. <laughs> uh, sonic boom. So that's what that was. So again, if you guys want to see that, go ahead and click on my video. I'll link, I'll put it at the top of the video right now. Um, but yeah, it's just an example of what you know what to expect from this mod. Biggest thing I got out of this, you know, if I could if I could say it in a couple words, it's rich in color. Pretty much what it looks like to me super rich in color and, and it doesn't look bad at all i really do enjoy it so you know it's pretty much it guys uh let me know what you guys think about this mod and again if you guys prefer to see the tutorials right away get it out the way um if you guys actually want to see gameplay make sure it's, to make sure it's actually worth installing just let me know um you know i'm kind of just playing around right now see what works what doesn't work so and i'm just you know taking all kinds of feedback from everybody that watches my videos so uh thank you guys so much for uh, click on this video thank you guys so much for watching uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up it really really help my channel out. and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right take care